guys, um, I just want to start off by apologizing. I know I haven't done a video in a while. I haven't really been in the mood. I had a close friend that passed away recently, and I've just been trying to deal with that and be with the family, and um, it's been really hard, so I'm sure you guys know that just it just means that videos kind of go on hold for a little bit, and uh, I'm sure everyone can understand, but um, I wanted to come back on and do a video. Um, it is the weekend. I'm trying to rest up and, and get my sleep again, and uh, I thought I would do it on my November Lux Box that I received. Um, I don't know about the rest of Canada, but I get my Lux Box pretty late now. They're starting to do mid-month shippings instead of um, previously I was getting mine usually around the 15th. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm getting mine now usually about the third week in November and uh, hopefully December it doesn't come too too late because I would like to have some stuff to play around with for Christmas time and stuff. But anyways, this is my Lux box and I'm just going to hide the address here for you. But this is how it comes and what it looks like when I, I get the, the box in the mail. Um, and then I'm sure anyone who's seen videos on the Lux Box, this is what they look like in Canada. They used to be um, just kind of cardboard boxes before, but now they've kind of stepped up their game and they're now doing these nice, uh, pretty little black boxes here. So, um, yeah, it's done by, I know, I'm sure everyone knows what these are, but they're done by a company called Loose Button in Canada. And I will put the link um, below for you guys if you want to sign up for them. They do cost money. Um, basically, they say that they're free, uh, but they do cost money, and that's for the shipping. So I think now for these, uh, I started and I was only paying $11, and I think now it's 12 or 13 Mine automatically come out of my account every month because I'm subscribed to it. So I don't exactly remember what it is, but um, I, I can definitely link that below if anyone wants to know the exact amount. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so anyways, so they usually come with a little kind of description of what you get in there, and then they sometimes give you little cards that offer things and um, just little kind of information things. But this is basically, it just ex describes what you're going to get in your box this time, and it just gives some information because we usually only get the products, sometimes you don't get the full packaging. So I have opened mine already. Um, I can't wait, and I, I don't always have time to film videos during the week, so when I get it during the week, I can't wait. But anyways, I did try and keep the packaging as much as possible, and as you can see, they have this cute little sticker. I don't know how well you can see it, but it says, Made for Erin on it, so I thought that was incredibly cute, um, and they've been doing that more and more. I think when I first started in June or July, they didn't have it. It was just a sticker that said Lux Box on it. But now they're personalizing it for everyone, so I thought that was incredibly cute. Um, this is probably, sorry, I want to apologize for my voice too. I think I'm losing it. Um, just, just been really stressed lately. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is probably the best Lux box I've received yet. It's just such a variety of different things, and um, a lot of them I haven't tried before. So I'm super excited for all of these. I haven't touched any of them since I opened it, even though I've wanted to. So it's just to show you guys. Uh, the first product I will grab is the Prada Candy, and this is a perfume sample, but it is in a box. Um, I haven't even heard of this this perfume before, but I did smell a little bit of it, and it smells amazing. So this is a little sample. Um, it is, of course, tiny. It is a sample, but I think that's, uh, that's fine. They do usually do samples of perfume. I know in, I think it was my October Lux box, I got a sample of the name Calvin Klein Euphoria perfume. I don't really like it, but it's nice that they do samples. Then the next one is the Prada Candy Candy Lotion. So I'm assuming this is some sort of body or hand lotion, but um, it's a huge size. I mean, this is, how I many? 2.5 fluid ounces. So that's huge for a sample size. And the thing, if I can open this box up, the thing that I love the most about this product is the look of it. How cute is that bottle for lotion? To put it on your vanity or even have it in your purse and take it out and use it, I think that is probably one of the cutest lotion bottles I've ever seen. I love the um, simplicity of it and how kind of different it looks. So I thought that was incredibly cute, and I do like the smell. It's not bad. Um, I've never had Prada perfume before. I'm usually uh, Dior or Chanel Number no. Five. I like kind of more of the classic perfumes, but 
smells nice and I'm really excited to use it. I don't usually use a scented body lotion like a perfume body lotion. So we'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, the next one I'm really excited for too, it's the Moroccan Oil Styling Cream. And the uh, this is the one that has the argan oil in it. I know that's a really big thing nowadays. Uh, they call it Moroccan Oil, but it's argan oil. And uh, it's, it's supposed to be really, really great for skin. The bad thing about this, and I wasn't aware of it until I got a, an email probably about two days ago, it actually has an expiry date of March 2011. So that was kind of um, upsetting in a little bit. But the other thing is that this one here, the company emailed saying that they're going to not only replace with an updated uh, expiry date for product, they're also going to include another Moroccan oil piece for you as well. So um, that's really good. I think that that's awesome that a company is willing to do that when they find a mistake. And I didn't even realize it until I got the email. So again, that was nice because I probably would have used it without even looking at the expiry date. Um, okay, what's the next one? I guess we'll do this one here. Uh, first off, I have to say I love the packaging of this. It is the Benefit Moisture, what is this? Moisture Prep Toning Lotion. And this is actually for part of their new skincare line. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have seen these before. But it came out in Canada probably about five months ago, four or five months ago, sometime during the summer. And um, it's it's such, I mean, how cute is this packaging, but the fact that we get samples of it, I didn't know that they came in this size, and when I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute, because look at how cute these bottles are. So as you can see, there's the label, and it's, it's a toner, it's, as you can see, it's a really thick toner, it's very strange, um, so I don't know how much I'm going to like this, because I don't, like, I like toners to be refreshing and clean and things like that but I love the fact that I got it and I, I love the packaging on these products um, benefits I use a couple of things from benefit and you guys will see in my uh, November favorites there will be a new product that I got from benefit that I love but I, I just I think the packaging is so cute and I think when a company does packaging that makes a product look cute and uh, if the product works good as well like they've they've done a complete um, a complete bang on product in my opinion. So I'll give this a try and uh, see how I like it. I don't really know if I'm going to, but I mean this is technically free so I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, the next one I got is a little Olay sample and it's the Olay Regenerous Wrinkle Revolution Complex. I don't know how much you guys can see there. Um, this is 7 milliliters, so 0.23 ounces. It's a good size. Um, I don't really have issues with wrinkles. Um, the only place that I can see myself really needing to use this would probably be around my eyes because I am 25 and I'm sure the crow's feet are going to start coming any day now. But uh, I, in general, I love Olay products and I use them as often as I can. So I think this is this is a cute little sample and I didn't know that Olay was teaming up with Luxbox. So I'm hoping in the future to see a lot more Olay products as well too. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to try that for around my eye area. Uh, the next one, I've actually heard a lot about this company from uh, the Canadian Shopping Channel and just in a couple other people's videos as well too about different products they use because it is a makeup uh, company as well. But they're starting to delve more into skincare and things like that. And this is the Pure Minerals Corrective Primer, sorry, Correcting Primer Complexion Perfection. And this is a neutral shade. So... Um, yeah, and it's it's basically a primer, and I don't know if you guys can see because everything's so pale in my videos here, but um, it's it's kind of a whitey skin tone color, so I'm hoping that that will even things out a little bit more. I haven't had the chance to use it, and it is for all over face versus just for the eyes, so um, that's something kind of exciting because I don't usually use face primers all over. But or I don't use primers all over my face. I've bought eye primers before, but I've never had a face one. So it'll be interesting to use this. I've been having issues lately in the winter with my skin getting more oily for some reason. I think um, with the stress and the hormones and things like that, like my skin is going a little crazy. And it is 
breaking out a little more as well too. Like I don't know if you guys can see, I have a spot there and there I think. But um, my skin is just breaking out a little bit more so it'll be nice to have a primer to kind of smooth things over. Um, and I did get a question in my last video if I'm still using Differin, which I'm not. But um, I can do an updated skincare routine if anyone is interested. It's changed a lot because I recently found out probably about two months ago that I have rosacea. So that can be coming up next because I've been trying to switch things up so my skin isn't irritated as much. And it doesn't help that it's now the winter time in Canada. But anyways, back onto the topic of the Lux box. Uh, the last item I got, and I think it's the cutest because anyone who knows me and who's seen my videos, I'm all about natural and... I like classic things and I often get called grandma by my friends just because I have such a an old way of doing things and one of my favorite things in the world is tea. I love to drink it, I love to buy it, I, everything tea. Um, I could literally live off tea if I had to and uh, this is the Teaopia which is a company in Canada here and sorry about that my phone was ringing. Anyways, uh, yeah, so this is the Teopia, and this is in a scent called Cactus Fig. I have no idea what Cactus Fig is. I'm imagining it's probably a little bit of a sweeter um, tea because of the fig in it. Uh, I love the container. I mean, that is so cute. You can take it and travel anywhere with you. And I'm thinking afterwards I could probably use this to hold bobby pins or um, something. I don't, I don't know. It's amazingly cute. And then they also gave... Um, I mean, because I love tea, I, I have things that are called tea balls that you put the loose tea in, and then you just kind of steep it in water. But they also included these little, um, they're, they're tea bags. These ones here, basically all that you do is you kind of, you know the old lunch, old style lunch bags where you used to fold it over instead of the Ziploc? I believe this is how they are, and you just let it sit in the water, and you kind of just dip it, and it'll slowly steep. So I thought that was really cute that they include this for anyone who doesn't regularly drink tea, they can still enjoy the product. So anyways, that was my Lux box. Um, I love this company. There are some months that are really hit and miss. Sometimes they don't have the best things in them, but since they've done this new like black box packaging, they've really stepped up their game in terms of samples and, uh, and in terms of sizes as well. So I've seen things that are a lot bigger, and I've seen a lot bigger names as well too, like Benefit and Prada and Olay and things like that. So um, I'm hoping to do updates every month of my Lux box. I know that um, I can hook it up with their internet, or sorry, <laughs> I can hook it up with their site so that they can see my reviews and it just helps their customers as well too. I don't know if it gets put on the Lux box site itself, but again, like I said, I will link below to the site so you guys can check it out. It does cost about twelve dollars a month, and it does automatically. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, it does automatically come out of your account if, if you do want to do a subscribing every three months. So that's a benefit of that. Uh, also, too, just really quickly, because I know this video is trailing on, I did get my hair cut. Um, they've been kind of wanting bangs for a little while, and I just wasn't sure about it because I know that they get in the way, and they're kind of annoying to use sometimes, or to take care of sometimes. But, um, yeah, just recently with all that's been happening, I just kind of... I needed to do something, I needed to get my mind off of things, so I went and got my hair cut, and um, I do kind of feel better about myself, I don't know, it's it's different and it'll take some getting used to, but it's actually a little bit easier in the morning, I can just blow my hair dry and go, I don't have to worry about styling it and, you know, putting hairspray in it to style it back or get it off my face or something like that, it's, it's quite nice. So. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, hopefully you all like it because it's not going to be changing until it can grow out again. But uh, yeah, and anyways, thanks guys for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions of other other videos that I do, I'd love to hear it. And uh, again, don't forget I'm on Twitter and I also have a blog that you guys can check out as well too that I'll link below as well. So again, thanks guys for watching. Bye.